Hello, my name is Wally Brazier V from Baton Rouge, Louisiana in the United States of America. I'm a Google certified trainer, innovator, administrator, and the Google Educator Group leader for Louisiana. I'm also the Google Educator Group mentor for the South Central United States and a Google Education partner. I'm going to answer the question, how do I connect with family and guardians, which relates to communication as well as family and community engagement. It truly takes a village to educate a child. So keeping parents informed is vital to strengthening the school home partnership. When parents are engaged, they can be informed of how to support their child's learning at home. Let's start by addressing a common misconception. Some people believe that parents can access the classroom directly to see the student's assignments. They cannot. Google Classrooms are restricted to users within the school domain account, which parents do not have. This provides an extra layer of security to protect students from external influences. So why? If parents can't log in directly to see students work in the Google Classroom, how am I supposed to keep them informed? Well, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Google has a feature called Guardian Email Summaries that allow parents to receive email summaries about their students' work in class. We'll start by going to Google Classroom to make sure that it's turned on. To do this, we'll navigate over to the settings icon, then scroll down to general, and there we'll see the option for guardian summaries. Make sure the slider is turned to the right so that it's turned on. You'll get a pop-up to add this class along with other classes to receive guardian email summaries. If you don't want to turn on summaries for all classes, then just uncheck the box next to add all the classes you, that you teach to Guardian email summaries. Then we'll add to class and click save. Now let's navigate over to the people's tab. You'll notice that I already have my students enrolled in the classroom. We now have the option to invite guardians next to each of our students. Click invite guardians and you'll input the email for your student's parents. If there's more than one guardian email, Put a comma between adding multiple email addresses and then click invite. A point to note that until the guardian accepts the invitation, the words invited will appear next to the guardian's email address. After the guardian accepts the invitation, you'll see the guardian's name next to the student's name on the People's tab page. A pro tip is that once the guardian accepts the invitation, they are linked to the students in all of their classes. This means that all of the teachers can see the student's guardian and email them. To email one student's guardians, we'll simply click the three dots or the more options button next to the student's name and then select email guardians. An email window opens with the guardian's email address populated in the to field. On the other hand, we can email all students guardians in this class all at once if we click on email all guardians at the top. You'll then enter the subject line and the message and click send. When the parents receive the email, they have the opportunity to accept or deny by saying that they are not the guardian of the student. Once they've accepted, they'll have the option to set how often to receive email summaries by clicking on settings, then clicking the drop down arrow under the frequency and choosing how often to receive the emails. There's another way that we can connect with the families and guardians using the calendar from Google Classroom. You did know that each Google Classroom has its own calendar, right? Well, they do, and we can use this calendar to connect with families and guardians as well. To do this, we'll go to Google Calendar and click the settings in the upper right corner. Then we'll click on the name of the calendar that we want to share. We'll scroll down under Access Permissions and check the box next to Make Available to the Public. We'll click the OK button on the pop-out menu and voila! From there, we can scroll down to grab the embed link to embed it on any website, or we can get the shareable link that will allow parents to subscribe and receive notifications and updates as you post new classroom content that has a due date. So that's it. Now you've got two ways to connect with families of your students and keep them engaged with what's happening in the classroom, even though they can't log into the Google Classroom directly. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.